we're still here with Hosanna. We <laughs> repositioned ourselves, and we're now watching him from the other side, which is great. So we're going to have a look at him at least from this side where we can see him. So he's still sitting at the moment, just looks like maybe he's feeding off something. I'm not 100% sure where he is at the moment, what he's actually doing. He's got his mouth on something, but I can't see what it is. Uh, big yawn. Are you going to wake up for us now? Maybe he was just eating some grass. But it seems like he was biting something in there. I couldn't see nicely. Hello, my boy. Now, isn't he so cute? He's such a good-looking young leopard, this. He's going to be such a big boy when he's older, and... He's almost, he's definitely got that typical Karula family look about him. He looks very similar to what she does and all the boys that have come from her look all very, very similar indeed. Now where are you off to? Isn't that spectacular with his reflection? Just come out a little bit there, Senzo, and you'll see the reflection on the water is absolutely spectacular. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So for those of you that like to do screenshots, that's number one right there. Of him walking along I'll just try and give him a bit of light so that we can see now hopefully he's going to stop and have a little drink for us maybe he's more fond of the corner area where are you going Hosanna absolutely spectacular I'm trying not to shine the light towards him too much I'm just using the water to bounce it off are you going to drink in the worst possible place for us where there's a branch in the way no, I don't think he wants to drink. I think he's decided he wants to start moving now. Is that your new sleeping place? Is that where you want to sleep? Now, we've seen them so many times in this area. This is one of the places that they really like to spend time. I mean, even when Karula was still with them, we'd find Shungile and Hosanna and Karula all around these banks and often lying on top here. And he used to check around in these areas because this is a great place where monitor lizards will hide they like to hide in that sort of undergrowth and vegetation so I wonder if he hasn't spotted something because look he's going into a stalk pose now now I'm just going to turn off the light so that I don't show him in case there's something there that he could potentially be stalking but he's definitely going into stalk mode look how he's being very careful with his paws I wonder if there's not a terrapin at the base there near that thorn tree let's see how he goes here but look how his whole demeanor has changed. He's now very careful about the way he's walking. He's checking every footprint that he's making. And he's even putting his back foot right where his front foot was just to limit the amount of noise that he's making. Ears are focused forward. Eyes are very focused. What are you up to? Is that where you're going to watch for Terrapins? Well, clever boy. He's gotten himself a bit of a height perspective now. So he can see into the water. And if then anything comes out, he'll be able to leap on it from there. He looks a bit bewildered, doesn't he? <laughs> he almost looks like he's unsure of what he wants to do. And he's watching some of the birds that are flying over as well. He's got a very, very curious face, little Hosanna. And it's generally because he's up to no good. Seems to be a leopard that is always busy and always doing something. So nice to see him up and awake. Now, I know that it is getting quite dark but I don't want to shine on him especially if there is some terrapins that are close by Let's see if he maybe can get a chance to get a meal at the end of the day we don't want to disrupt any chance they can get because it's not easy for them at the moment without mom around they really are having to fend for themselves and it makes life a lot more difficult to be able to find the food that they need but isn't that beautiful now I think a toss-up for me between him and Tumba, which are my two favorites at the moment. So, Riti, you're wondering what age can a leopard independently hunt animals? Well, I've seen a young leopard of five months old kill a baby diker. So, I mean, that's probably a once-off thing, but it's... It just shows you that they are capable already of getting food. I know of a leopard that was unfortunately lost its mom at 10 months and it survived. It managed to eat lizards and insects and all kinds of things and snakes and terrapins and it made it to be an adult leopard that lived a long life. So, you know, they, when they get thrown in the deep end, they tend to be able to do it. But I would imagine that 
you know, effectively, generally, it's between sort of 14 months and two years when they get left by their mom, and that's when they're able to actually start hunting quite effectively. So, Hasano, though, has already brought down a number of quite big animals. I know he's brought down a diker, I know he's brought down a fully grown impala. So, he's doing just fine. He's taken to this single life like a duck to water as opposed to Shongila who struggled for the first few weeks but she seems to have worked it out now she seems to have worked out that terrapins are the way to go for her and that's what she's doing she's just going after terrapin after terrapin after terrapin and seems to be doing really well and sustaining herself and then the other day she managed to get a scrub hair and a diker so she's also starting to work out the techniques and as time goes on so they'll get better and better at what they're doing what's wrong my boy you look very unsure as to what you want to do once he goes behind there, we're not going to be able to see him for a little bit. Hopefully he won't stop there, because it is really quite dense. Now I'm going to reposition a little bit, because he is going right behind me. So I'm just going to try and move around quickly. Where did you go, Hosanna? So, Ruby in the sun, you're asking, will they jump and catch birds in midair? Well, yes, I, they can. I have seen leopards do it. Now, one of Karula's um, sons, Shavambalana, now Shavambalana means an emerald spotted wood dove. And the reason why he's called that is because the first kill he ever made, he was sitting on top of a termite mound and an emerald spotted wood dove came flying past and he jumped up into the air and grabbed it and ate it. So that's why he got the name Shavambalana. That's where it comes from. And so yes, leopards do it often. They, they regularly will jump up and catch things like Franklins and um, guinea fowl, doves, anything that they can really get their hands on that flies close enough to them. So they do do it. Not probably as good as what a caracal can do, but they are able to do it. Now, Lou has just said to me that they once had quarantine on the live drives that almost caught a guinea fowl that way. So there we go. It's another case in point. So they do do it more regularly than we think. Now, little Hassan has actually just appeared out of the bush. So he is there and he's just coming to the edge of the water. So He's looking around still and still trying to see what's going on, but at this stage, no terrapins on the edge. It's not probably the right time for to catch terrapins. Generally, the terrapins at this time of the day... Oh, what's he got there? There we go. What have you got? Did you find one? Did you catch one? What have you got there? Was it a rock? Maybe he got fooled. No, you got fooled. It's a rock, my boy. But good try anyway. This is the trials and tribulations of being a young little boy in this area trying to find terrapins. Now I'm going to go back a little bit because he's coming straight to where we are and I think he's going to use the edge of the water just to keep looking. So I just want to go back a little bit. So that if he does come around the edge of the water we're not in his way. There we go. Seems like he's going to come out just in front of us here. Hello. Isn't he looking great? He's such a majestic animal, this. Still got so much confidence, even though he's on his own and mom's been away. He still really does have that swagger about him that male leopards do get. Now, where are you off to? And I wonder if he's not off to one of his favorite places, which is the pans on Shibamu. That's where he really likes to go, so I think that's where he's heading at this stage. Maybe he's spotted something on the edge there that's now caught his attention. Okay, let's just turn around again, because he's gone behind us once more. Masana, well, you're making me chop and change where I am quite a bit today. There we go. Now we can see him quite nicely again. Now that he's stalking a little bit, I think what we're going to try and do is try and put our IR lights on and so that we don't have to use the spotlight anymore. So we're going to try and see if we can do that. It's not the easiest thing to do because we've got to screw them on and attach them. Um, and like I said, I don't really want to shine on him if he's stalking terrapins across the water now. Just scanning along just to see if I can't see any terrapins. There were quite a few of them that had their heads up in the middle of the dam just now, but they seem to have all gone underneath at this stage. 
but like I say we would like to put our IR lights at some stage so that I don't have to use the spotlight anymore Andrew is just calling me on the radio go ahead Andrew yeah AFM is just on the southern side of the dam now you can make your way and join me as a second stop to watch now and just to check what's happening so sorry about that I just had to quickly tell Andrew where we are so that he can come and join us and bring his guest to come see little Hasana who's not so little anymore I think even Shungile was very surprised to see how much she's grown in the last little bit she's caught up a bit with Hasana she's no longer dwarfed like she was by him so they both have grown and they are doing exceptionally well it's been really tough for them just to kind of be left alone and now to have to deal with the situation by themselves. But you can see it is getting really, really dark now. Now we're going to get our IR equipment all sorted out so that we can watch this little leopard without interfering too much. And while we do that, let's go across to Taylor and see where she is and whether or not she's had any more luck on cheetah planes. <laughs> 